How's it going, everybody? Hopefully, you are having a wonderful time enjoying our live coverage of the Adepticon World Open Qualifier. We're about to jump into our fourth round. Players just came back from lunch. We are on our four of four scenario. So this is going to be chance engagement. So after this one, all of them will end up resetting. This is pretty much a standard dog fight, all right? There's one scenario in the middle. The biggest difference between all of these is the fact that you do get half points in this scenario compared to the other three that you do not. So remember, now those half point thresholds do matter. Additionally, on top of that, regen. If there's any regen in a list, if a, if a list is able to somehow regen enough to go above half, it doesn't work in chance engagement. You don't regain those points. So once you're halved, those threshold points stay given to the opponent. So remember that as these games and as you continue to play chance engagement. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. All of these different matches, we've had four different scenarios. We got two more coming up today. Now what will happen is we've done all four. They'll be randomized again going in round five and round six. And after that, when we get to the top cut, we're gonna wipe the board again and we will be randomizing again for the top 32, then 16, four, uh, sorry, 16, eight, then four. And then when we get to the final, it will be completely randomized one more time. So thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna send it back to Will and Johnny. They've been doing an absolutely awesome job. Make sure you guys are staying gold. Gold leader, out. to Gold Squadron Podcast, coming to you live from the World Open Qualifier here at Adepticon. My name is William Hegwood. Today I'm joined by Johnny Randazzo. Hello. I didn't say that right, did I? That's perfect. Oh, okay. <laughs> I question it every time. After that aha discussion, it's, it's, I question everything. No, I do say it with the Midwest A, okay. so it's Randazzo. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, we have Alex Morganson. Flying the Republic on our left versus Courtney Moore flying the Rebel Alliance on our right. We are about to get the Choose Your Champion betting going. Uh, so if you are in live watching us, uh, go ahead and throw in the chant to bet one all or bet two all. Who do you think is going to be able to pull off this victory? If you're watching later on YouTube, uh, throw a comment down below. Let us know uh, before and after the video. See if you were right. Uh, but as these guys are getting into it here, Johnny, can you tell the people a little bit more about uh, this particular scenario? Chance engagement is maybe the most stripped down of the scenarios. The main way to score points in a chance engagement is by damaging your opponent's ships. If you get them down to half of their hit point value, then you score half points. If you eliminate a ship, you score their full points or the other half that you didn't get if you scored half uh, previously. There is still a single objective token right in the middle of the board. If you have uh, more ships range one to two? More? Nope. Read the thing. <laughs> Scenario rules, uh, scoring. At the start of the end phase, a player earns one mission point if they control a satellite. A player controls the satellite if they are the only player that has ships at range zero to two. Yeah, unlike assault, you don't count. Satellite. It's just binary. Are, are you the only person or not? Yes, yeah, so you can earn a single mission point at the end of the round if you are the only player range zero to two of that center objective. Otherwise, we're going for kill shots. We're going for kills. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, this is uh, very close to the X-Wing dogfighting. Uh, we have known for 
10 years? No. 2012? I'm pretty sure Gen Con 2012. Hold on. History check. We'll roll a lore check. See if roll you know. Roll a lore check. Years active, 2012 to present. 2012 to present. Uh, originally released at Gen Con, August 2012. All right, so we're about six months away or so, five months away. 10 years of X-Wing. There it is. Wow. We need to have a 10 year uh, birthday party. Uh, Gen Con, I think we should. should. Could be a great time. I wonder how many contrails are in the event. That's actually a great question. <laughs> we could find that out. We, could, we have the power. We have the power, maybe. Here we go. Uh, but yeah, so the, the opponents here are uh, recommended to head towards the middle of the board to make sure that their opponent cannot uh, score it in uh, the same round. Uh, a lot of players have... Uh, done the math about what it takes to be within range two from your initial deployment, and we can see already here uh, that's all that's all the arc had to do to get into range two a one yep. forward or no that was a two forward excuse <laughs> me yeah he went two forward and now he's in range two so I gotta do pretty simple but it is the uh, what do I want to say it's Things that we would have told you a year ago to never do. Never just fly as fast as you can until the middle of the board, right? And the other scenarios, never divide up your forces. Yeah. Never waste your actions. Um, but in scenario play, these are the things you're forced to do if you want to score extra points. So, but it's interesting to me, in a chance engagement, we don't necessarily see people reverting to their original of like block formation or pinwheel formation. Mm -hmm. We're still seeing people spread out a bit. Do you think that is just uh, the new way that people are used to flying? Is it because of the bump rules? Maybe they're afraid to get too close to their friendly ships? Oh, that's true, yeah. Um, what's, why? If this is the closest we had to X-Wing 2.0, why aren't they f setting up like X-Wing 2.0? Well, so I could give you maybe some insight into why Alex split up. He was first player to deploy his Obi-Wan and Contrail. Okay. Uh, and then after he deployed, Gina with her trajectory simulator would get put down. There it is. So if you bunched up all your ships in uh, the patented GSB joust zone, the, the neutral edges of the board, uh, Gina would just deploy straight across from you and say, I'm ready to joust. <laughs> I got a bomb with your name <laughs> on it. Yeah, so I, I feel like this is forcing Alex to divide his uh, forces. Uh, and then be able to come in to the center from different angles here, right? The classic, uh, what Triple uh, Ace used to do, where you're kind of rotating in uh, the combat, but also not, you know, coming on, coming in all at the same angle. Yeah, casting a wider net, mm -hmm. and um, but still trying to get multiple arcs on opposing ships in the same turn as you can. Oh, I agree. Uh, so Shara boosted, uh, yeah. not expecting these I-5s to uh, chase her down. Uh, we're gonna see a full reroll here, no Besh. Uh, Besh can convert a die, which turns out would have been the same result. Shara's fine, oh, Shara's she fine. Got, she got three agility. Okay. One crit. One crit from the auto blaster. Oh, blanks out. Yeah. Shara, just fine. Because guess what? She's got a turret. Boot or no, you can't boost and rotate, can you? You'll have to rotate. I don't know. Pull it up. And pull it up. Figure it out. Uh, where am I going here? Here we go. Shara is down a shield. 
And what did uh, what did she whiff back? I only saw one dice thrown, so. All right, so now we're. <laughs> He's like, I swear that's the center. Yep. So it should be it should be one scenario point to Courtney there. Let's see if. And that's yep. that. Back that's to dials. Yep. We'll check this the players' scoreboard here. Well, oh, got to move it. <laughs> I'll move it here. All right. Oh, uh, can you talk about Gina and what? Why? Why she's so? Why scary? Gina? Gina has a lot going on. Uh, perhaps the most important is this combination: trajectory simulator, proton bombs. Trajectory simulator says if you would drop or launch a bomb, you may launch it using the five forward template so we are on trajectory watch trying to see where can gina cover i'm going to estimate something like that and then that proton bomb goes off uh, hits everything at range one when it detonates uh so also gina's an i5 b-wing um that's not bad really i mean they're tanky. They have three attack dice. Uh, B-Wings are threatening even just on their own. Throw in trajectory simulator and bombs for that area denial. And you have a really efficient ship. Uh, so we see dials are getting set here. And... Okay. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, the arc was in range. And uh, Contra was not. So one point awarded to Courtney. One point. Courtney is on the board. I was just saying this whole game, we are on trajectory watch. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, because I see this right here, right? I, I drew literally the same thing <laughs> a second ago. Uh, absolutely. So we'll and see yeah, if we'll she, see where if, this goes. I mean, so the, the bomb's coming out somewhere along there, right? If she moves up and doesn't barrel roll or anything. Uh, so she can aim it, you know, meet it right here as these guys are coming around. It'll be a bad time. But Anakin Wyoming taking a bomb. No problem. Mean, yeah, no problem. Whatever. Uh, Ada Obi-Wan taking a proton bomb. That's so much. That's a bad day. That's so good. Yeah. Uh, Bagel Drone, I would disagree. Uh, one of the things I really like about Gina is actually the ability to, at Initiative 5, use the Stabilized S-Foils to spend your lock and take a free jamming beam shot. Uh, with high initiative, uh, you can strip off things like Obi-Wan's evades, uh, Contrail's target locks, um, Ahsoka could, in theory, focus evade you could strip off with that jamming beam. So I, I think it's got uh, quite a bit of utility there. Alex comes out ahead on the initiative random order roll. And we see uh, K2SO calculate coming in onto Gina. Mm, yeah, we could see our one bank and maybe try to get the bomb over here, you know? That's not a bad call because that could really put a hurt on the V-Wing or the Ada. All right, we see Ben Thick revealing his dial, banking in around that rock. Yep, he wants a piece of that Obi-Wan, or a uh, piece of that Anakin. Uh, this is, uh, that's the one thing I did forget to do. Um, Barris is blue. And Ahsoka is red. There you go. That's a note.
All right. Um, I looked away. Are we deciding actions or no? We, uh, yeah. What do we? So in this version of Benthic two tubes, uh, we normally see him with perceptive co-pilot. Uh, mm -hmm. But this one actually has Magva Yaro and K2 SL. So the combination here is Benthic uh, being able to sling a focus over to his brother, Edrio. Now, Edrio's, uh, before you activate, if you are focused, you can perform an action. So you see the double focuses coming down there one from Benthic, one from his action. And now he gets to take a target lock for his ion torpedo. Oh, that's uh, that's pretty nasty, actually. And the target lock does go down here onto Barris. Yeah, and this uh, he's even brought contraband cybernetics, which has the same timing as his ability before you activate. Okay. So you can pop contraband cybernetics and be allowed to take actions while stressed. Yeah. Which would not only include your perform action step, but Edgio's free one as well. <laughs> that's powerful. Mm-hmm. Pretty good, pretty good. So even like K-turning, flying through debris, anything like that. Uh, linked actions, so you got that uh, focus into boost from them as well. Pretty cool. Uh, Grimwolf, he, they're above, they're above the thing. He uh, he had too many tokens or something. He didn't want to put them in front of him. That's not unheard of. Yeah, uh, there's there's a lot more space above uh, to the left of the board. There are from our view on top of it. Is that a chopper evade? I see. Go does, down on Ahsoka. Does look like it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with the stress, uh, wanting to start burning through those chopper charges, uh, so you can get over to the jam side. All right, we see Ibtisam coming in. Uh, we'll see if he gets shot out this turn, depending on where the Republic ships move. Then we have Barris turning in. Okay, so uh, a bit of a flank on. Ooh, she called him too. On the on the nice. the two tubes brothers is going to get that boost presumably a fine-tuned boost and then a focus action Ooh, look at that Squeeze this right in there. Okay. Uh, we didn't see a boost or anything. Uh, so uh, should remain unstressed. Yeah, so it's taking a focus. Like I said, I think this is, I think we are setting up this Anakin kill box into the center, right? Sure. Gina three forwards and we're putting every arc on that yeah. six point one agility ship. Yeah, and like, He's not going to be able to just, like, zip out of there. He's in a Y-Wing. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. So. Uh, well, you say that, um, but it does look like he's got... So, let's take a look here. So, he's got Shattering Shot and sure. uh, Proton Torpedo. So, those could be a five-hit uh, shot. Um, and he also has... This is the, the combination. So, with our... 4P, you can actually change your hard threes to white, and then afterburners. Okay. Oh, okay. Well. Sneaky. So, uh, including the because our 4P only changes the basic maneuvers, you can even get the four forward into a boost. So, ha. maybe not as slow as you think. Okay, surprising, surprising from this Y wing. Uh, he is in a joust right now. This, that would be more for probably chasing down a target. Mm -hmm. But uh, still, the potential's there. I think that kind of uh, sneaky speed is uh, what's kept Alex undefeated so far. Because uh, it, it is a very valuable point. Uh, there are six on, uh, like I said, just one agility. Okay, so we see Contrail and Obi-Wan uh, kind of coming around the bottom. 
Uh, we now see Gina moving into the middle of the board. Again, maybe making their way for that Y wing. Mm, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, what do I want to say? The uh, like I said, we're on, we're on, we're on trajectory. Watch, <laughs> right? It's gonna go about right there. Uh, so uh, luckily, Ipsis and Scott plenty of extra shields for now. Sure. Uh, but Char will have to bail out of there, be halved. Yeah. Okay. So here now we see Anakin's move. Interesting. See, I think he's he think he's lining up that boost, or do you just stay there in one bank next round? Uh. So is he in this arc? Uh. He must not be, because he's locking. Okay. Or he doesn't mind. Or he's like, whatever. Uh, so he's got Gina staring him down, but through the obstruction. Shara from behind, or kind of from the flank. Mm -hmm. Ibdasam, we're not sure about. Um, Benthic and Edrio can probably get shots on him, but Edrio locked. Barris, I think, right? Uh, Edriel locked Barris. Yes, Gina locked Ahsoka. Okay, is this a uh, is this a proton torpedo attack? Oh my goodness! Three crits and a hit. Two dice on the uh, defense turns it into two evades. And did you, what'd you lose? My pen. Oh, this pen? Yes, thank you. <laughs> uh, next up we have Obi-Wan. Looks like Obi-Wan does uh, get Ibtisam in arc obstructed, I'm guessing. Two dice, two hits. Uh, two evades, just gets one eyeball result. Gonna spend to keep the health up. Sam takes one. Does end up taking one? Sam took one. Edrio took one as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, look like it. Ooh, just one from the Torp, huh? Well, you had the double focus, though. Yeah. Next up is Gina on Anakin. Uh, I think it's a question of obstructed or not. Oh, or, or the option to go for Ahsoka. You could start stripping the force. He, I believe, has that CLT lined up. So, but we'll be five dice. Here we get three hits on the attack. We'll see who it went into. Uh, three dice response. Turns it into three evades, no problem. Yeah, so that would have been uh, of range three obstructed from Anakin. Okay, we should see a token get spent here, maybe? He's got the force. Oh, force, perfect. Yeah, um, we, we, yeah when the Anakin Wyoming can spin the force on defense, he's yeah. more than willing to. Okay, I think this is a Barris range one shot. Gets the CLT, turns it into a hit. Three hits total. And the response from Edrio. Two dice, two of AIDS. Edrio, your dog out there Edrio. drawing all the fire, shaking it off. Edrico? Edrio. Um, or was that on Benthic? What happened? No, it had to be range one, right? With the bullseye. So should he take another damage? Next attack here is a hit crit. Um, but the uh, plated hull changes it back to a hit. One evade dice. Anakin taking two, brushes it off. Uh. Mm. Uh, maybe, yeah, because the three shields is definitely two tubes. 
So. So maybe. I didn't think the torp was shot there, but. I'll double check. Oh, the torpedo was shot into. Into Benthic, maybe is. What I it guess. is, and then the second shot was into Edrio. Maybe. Sure. We'll double check. Uh, it didn't look like much else happening here. Because uh, that was Shara's. <laughs> nope, nope. We're now going into the I-3s. This was saying, has got to shoot through the rock. So that's, is that, is that right to say Ibdesam did not have a shot on Anakin? Correct. Yeah. That's kind of big, actually. Uh, I think he really wanted that extra shot. Alex saw it coming. He, he banked out. And just barely getting out of arc. I mean, on the screen, just the angle we have on the screen, like, that's close. All right. Uh, this is Ed Edrio. Hit, okay. Crit, crit, plated hole makes it hit, hit, crit. Two of eight. So one more shield then coming out of Anakin. Oh, man. If Anakin would have taken a crit there, that could have been something. I know. They never take. Well, it shuts down your plated hull ability, too. You have Ooh. to fix your crit while you defend if you are not critically damaged. Okay. So it can create some so kind of So pretty big getting those two natty evades. Pretty big. And now we're on to Benthic. Three hits. Hot red dice, three hits going into Anakin. Anakin down uh, three more. Ooh. So, Ibtisam not getting shots in could be the real difference here. It really was. So, Alex had mentioned this being his worst scenario. And I think I can see why because sure. uh, Anakin just gave up three points there. And With no no real exchange out yeah. of it. Yeah. Dials. And yeah, these uh, the fast ships, like uh, the the CLT Barris Ahsoka, right? Obi Wan as well. A fast, nimble ship. Uh, they can get into positions where yeah. it's hard to do damage, right? If you're not getting bullseyes, if you're not getting range ones, right? If you're just rolling those two dice. Maybe you want to save your Tokens and force for defense as well. May not have the damage potential, but because of your speed and defense of nature, you can survive to keep a, uh, scoring objectives. Yeah, that's right. That's so, right. I think that's kind of like the the idea that Alex was uh, behind him saying that this was his worst scenario. Sure. How are we doing, James? Correct. And Edrio is wrong. Edrio's wrong. Oh, is that Shara on the top? Is Edrio down here? Yeah, Edrio's down here. Shara does have a shield lost. Yeah, okay, so Shara's on the top and Edrio's down at the bottom. How is he doing? One damage. Card. That makes a lot more sense. That's because he took three from the Barris shot. Our yeah, field yeah. reporter, Thank James, you. coming with the coming Watch. with the help. Yeah, so it's, it's yeah. Four to two is the points. Thank you. Right. Perfect. Yep. Gets the half points on Edrio there. What a crew. What a crew we have. I know. Well, James, James did a great job the last two days. So he knows He knows what it's like. Yeah. That's right. The duos scarred me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you uh, if you've, I want to check out some of the... Uh, more casual side events that yeah. we have been doing. Uh, duos was an interesting day to say the least. Okay, okay. Uh, because they were uh, 13, two 13 point teams paired up together. Like you and me yeah. randomly paired together. Both of us have 13 points. Yeah. And we had to face off against two other people randomly paired. Okay. Um, but there was the the combinations were pretty <laughs> impressive. There was multiple times where uh, teams would have two K2SOs on their squad. Oh, funny. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so they was making it 
just outrageous. What was the other one? Oh, O'Hara helping out like Jedi and stuff. <laughs> it was pretty powerful. That's amazing. Um, combinations. Uh, that's no way that could ever be a competitive format because the uh, the interfaction uh, awesome. plays. But it, it was random. The pairings were random. Right. You couldn't choose. That's so cool. But it was uh, a lot of people played Rebels, unsurprisingly. But uh, it, so it created a lot of. Like I said, these interesting combinations. <laughs> and the one we played the other day, oh, Droid Ball. Okay. Droid Ball is where you would, uh, one of the new scenarios they did just for uh, kind of conventions and game stores. Okay. Uh, they, they sold them uh, like through the distributor, but essentially you, you could kick an objective by taking an ion token. Okay. And then you had to kick it across the field into the, your goal they needed uh, to do. That's fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, like, trying to line up, like, multiple kicks, right? Uh, and then trying to recover from your ship being ionized as sure. well. Sure, sure, sure. So you got a plan for that. Mm -hmm. uh, the twist on that one was that uh, if your ship died, it just respawned. Cool. And ship uh, killing ship meant nothing. Only the... Only goals. Only goals. Okay. So, yeah, some people get <laughs> reckless to be, able, <laughs> to be able to kick the balls. That's amazing. The, the droid balls. I believe it was called the droids you're looking for, but all we called it was droid ball because we were doing all of our soccer analogies, right? Dribbling. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, scorpion kicks, you know, <laughs> things like that. I don't think we ever did see that scorpion kick, uh, like a white defender K turn and then kicks the ball. Oh, sure. Kicks it the other way. Like, yeah, that's fun. Yeah. Uh, okay, we see Benthic moving first, uh, one forward, yep. trying to catch Anakin. Um, so the question chat has, what does Anakin do? Like, what does he do? Where is he going to go? He's going to one bank. No, he doesn't try to, like, three and boost. and. The, so, um, ooh, through the debris? Sure. Okay. You so, could four with your droid and then boost. Yeah. Uh, the, 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 the thing I'm looking at is that his point, his turret's pointed that way. Okay. So I think you either had to force the bump. Now, Benthic could have stopped, though. He didn't know. True. And we saw the focus passed to Edrio and he kept his wings closed to boost and then 4K'd. Wow. That's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, it's one of the reasons that you have to bring a torpedo on Edrio because yeah. you really need to keep your wings closed to get free boosts. At sure. Actions. Okay. And plus you lock a lot too. Yeah. If you're flying next to your brother, if you don't have like a dedicated focus passer, yeah. then it's not as big. Ibisam coming in, uh, taking up right in kind of the, the middle of those asteroids. Um, I want to see what Shara is going to do. Maybe Shara kind of like leapfrogs uh, and gets, tries to get in right behind Anakin. We'll have to see. I'm surprised Shara didn't move first. Oh, she's initiative fourth, obviously. I, I sometimes confuse the cost of a ship and it's oh, initiative. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of numbers to juggle. So we're going to see this is saying roll out of the way. Hmm. Maybe because let's, let's see if Courtney is a proficient medium base bear roller. This should be should line up the middle the uh, yeah, the middle hash on the front of the template. So there's actually some awkward overlap in the back. And uh, looks like he landed it. OK, I didn't. I honestly, I did not see Shara budge at all. Mm -hmm. So that looked clean to me. We saw Alex lean in and get that get that good view on it to make sure it didn't move as well. Because so. you know how it is. Like you're a little shaky, <laughs> put the ship down. But if if you Shara get a little bit before it's fully. But if you see down. that ship quiver, you're like, come on, man. Like <laughs> You just yeah. even if you shaky handed it now, 
it now it fits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that I I didn't see Shara budge there. So no, should be good. Uh, Abe to Sam don't care about no rock. <laughs> no. I agree, but does not care really. about not being in Shara's way. Correct. Apparently, Shara flips her dial for a two turn. Okay, going the sideways method here. You line up on the side hash, and then finish on the side hash as well. Works for all base sizes, even uh, even medium. That's cool. I didn't realize that. Uh, geometry. Okay, so Shara turning this way more uh, back home. Um, maybe just trying to uh, catch a Jedi, you know, kind of cut them off as, the, as they're coming around this way, kind of as a, you know kind of as a flanker to make sure they, they you cut off their escape path. Mm -hmm. Oh, we see Barris coming, turning in. Uh, Barris is going to get a, a great shot here on Benthic if she wants it. Oh, you know what? Uh, I just read the word contrail, and I did do a count. 38 of the 50... Republic lists have Contrail. <laughs> That's, that's kind of nutty. <laughs> He's a quality piece. It's a good value. It's a good. You can't deny it. Uh, yeah. And uh, it turns out building to eighteen is probably a little bit easier than building to twenty. Um, what did we see? The B wing did a. Was that like a one turn, like red or a red one turn? Probably a red one turn. Okay. Yeah. And then Gina's ability, she moves that stress away. Isn't that how that goes? Yep. At the start of engagement, must transfer a stress to another friendly ship at range 0 to 2. Okay. Uh, which pairs really well with uh, Ipsasan. Ipsasan's one of the yeah. very few ships who could double clear stress on a blue maneuver. Okay. Because you clear your uh, from the blue, and then you can roll from the ability uh, to clear a second stress. Okay. I like it. And Lando on this arc, I didn't realize that. We haven't seen Lando get used. That He's I... at the first round. Oh, okay. okay. But then he didn't want to risk, like, taking two, getting, like, two of aids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And not being able to modify a shot against uh, Anakin. So he just took the focus action. Okay, we see the infamous um, Contrail <laughs> coming yeah. in. And... Uh... Boosted. Boost locked. Okay. Nice. Let's go, Shara. And General Skywalker does go over the rock. However, wow! I see Ooh, a block there. Blocked onto the debris. Okay, now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now let's talk about this. Oh, let's talk about this. What? I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Can I get a napkin? I could use a little sugar rush. Thank you. That's go. I'm gonna take this one. Nice. So kind. So kind, Andy. Thank you. What is Min Minnesota? What's your, what's the name of your uh, stream? The Whisper. Glitter Sim ASMR. Glitter Sim ASMR. That's what it's called. That's right. Shout out. <laughs> if you if you want to have fun, if you want if you're looking for a fun time. Check out Glutestim, S-M-A-R. Oh, Aerodome, that's right. Aerodome uh, from uh, Wade Pache. Uh, he's previewing it here, a beta version, and Adepticon, a uh, great friend of the podcast, on art for us. So really want to support him in his endeavors. We got two hits coming in. Three with the lock from Gina, two blanks, and Ahsoka's down to half points. Uh, so that block on Anakin is huge. Like we can't. I can't under. You can't, can't understate it. Like the one, the foresight to one turn with Gina to cut off that move from Anakin. Um, brilliant. It's brilliant. Okay, dice are being rolled. Can't live in the past. 
I see three blanks being re-rolled into blank blank eyeball. Not what you want to see. Contrail. Contrail with Terrible. A, Worthless. A what are 38 people thinking? <laughs> A beautiful shot set up. Like I this, thought it was great. That looked yeah. perfect. And but the dice giveth and the dice taketh away. Yeah. Obi Wan gonna follow it up. Oh, looks like it had Predator. Maybe we'll see how many dice end up being rolled here. Uh, as a note, this is Marksmanship Auto Blaster R7 A7. That's a crit boy. Guy here, patience. He ain't part of that crit suite. Crits all day. Yeah, really. So I had a quick judge call there just to confirm the bullseye. Very important because of the extra dice on the auto blaster. And there it is. One crit. There's spends the focus for hit. Oh. So, so these are the results. Oh, he's he's debating here. Okay, so marksmanship. And then spends the force, force. to get, uh, yeah, he realized, <laughs> he realized that, you know, I am in an arc actually. Oh. So uh, two crits going down onto Shara, which means we should see a face up damage card. Yep. It is hold breach. breach. Well, I'm not even going to put that on there. Yeah, I mean, yeah, <laughs> a one health ship, hold breach, we're okay. I mean, she's not okay, but. Uh, last shot of the round on her. We'll survive the round. Why'd you, why'd you rule it in arc, man? Jeez. What a jerk. We have crit hit coming in. I think that's Shard of Anakin, if I read that correctly. One evade. Uh, takes we'll a live. crit. Lives? Well, crit, though. Console, oh, console fire. Uh oh. Wanna clear your stress then, Anakin? Uh oh. And this is the third round. Thank you. Third round about to be fourth round in a moment. These rounds are so exciting, man. <laughs> uh, forget that that's the thing. I read that as Barris on Benthic. Range one bullseye shot. Oh, is it? I think so. Yeah. Range one bullseye shot. What? Yeah, the CLT is a little weird because it just you just need to be in the bullseye, even if you're not range one bullseye, like right. a uh, like a like the Ada, right? The Ada's got the three dice out the bullseye, so it looks like and that's two, two damage. So the range one, no matter where it is in your arc, allows you to roll three dice, and then the bullseye, no matter what range it is, gives you the CLT bonus yep because it just looks if the opponent's in your bullseye you get to add the extra result there i say a little bit different than say obi-wan's three dice primary which is only in the bullseye similar but different Ib to sam out the back to contrail That is two dice out the back. Hit eyeball. Uh, just going to get one hit here. Easily evaded. Must have been a, an obstructed shot. <clears throat> Ahsoka, range zero. Two dice. Yep, can't CLT. Don't need it, though. Hit, hit crit. crit. Oh, man. Needs a paint here. There it is. Spends the calculate from K2SO. And that K2SO calculate coming uh, in handy. Basically uh, a stressful force point, if you want to think about it like that. Get a, get a force point around. And the return shot range zero, three dice. Uh, was that maybe nothing? There's two eyeballs, so if it was one hit, got one evaded. evaded. So I and think the final shot then is Edrio. Edrio going for Barris. Yeah. Uh, must be an torp. ordinance shot. Four coming in. 
Well, she doesn't have a focus token, so she's in the ion. Uh, but that's going to be one damage, one ion for her. That is an ionized Barris. I mean, not the worst thing, but you do have that X-Wing screaming. Yeah, I mean... And Gina. Gina, Gina and the X-Wing will find you. Uh, trajectory watch, where are we at? That's a pretty short... You think it's too short? <laughs> it's a pretty short five. Short five. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. Yeah, I think if you one forward so. Adriel, one forward Gina, and uh, Benthic Banks out of there, uh, we got some. We got some already. Thank you, though. I'll be I'll be get, eating that sugar rush here in a bit. Don't you worry. And back to dials. Uh, okay, so we're at points. We are at three to six. Um, no ships destroyed, but a few are at half. Uh, yeah. I'm trying to see here. Well, we'll just confirm. We'll take a look at James. And we'll confirm our points with the scoreboard there. Six to three. Unless they're not updating it, but I think that's correct. Uh, okay, so we're all oh. we're all about trajectory simulator, but yeah. this is still just a bomb. You can drop it out the back. I see why they're talking about uh, you. R4P, assuming was that all that damage, right? Okay, thank you for confirming. Let's actually take a look at R4P. Can you reveal a red move while stressed still? Before you execute a basic maneuver, can you reveal a red maneuver while stressed? I don't know. Hmm. Interesting. A four forward, but sure. Either way. I thought you couldn't even reveal a red maneuver while stressed. Okay, I trust you. You're you're the one wearing the vest, not me. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, we don't. <laughs> Navi says, uh, yeah, he, he agrees. You just can't execute it. Fair enough. So, could four forward afterburners get out of the bomb? Not a non issue. There's a lot of stress out on the board. See a lot of red tokens in general right now. Is that on the table? No. What, that little shadow coming out of Anakin? Which is? Oh, we saw it. We didn't put it on here, though. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. totally right. Never mind. It was very important. No, but... totally. Oh, something wicked. See, now we're doing the 5D chess. Shara moves up to here. Blocks Anakin from getting away from the bomb. And Anakin has to take the bomb. Let's see it. I want to see it. Mm, that's some 5D chess. I'm going to be so happy if that's what happens. Chats on their game today. Okay. Uh, hard to tell who got it there. Uh, oh, it looks like they are moving the token to Alex being uh, first player this round. And so... 
Let's see the two tubes. Oh, a K2SO first, of course, going to Gina. And then Shara is boosting. Okay, okay. And bomb, 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 bomb. Oh, uh, reposition for. Obi-Wan first. And then. <laughs> He's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. He He's debating forward or backwards, maybe, because he wants to get Barris. He wants to get Barris with this bomb. Five forward wasn't so far off. Okay, so trying to hit Barris with that trajectory proton. And now we reveal a dial <laughs> after all that. Yeah, system phase is its own phase these days, man. It's not just for dropping bombs and decloaking anymore. <laughs> okay, we have uh, Benthic, I think, activating first. And Benthic making his way towards the side of the board. Hmm. Uh, I guess you could always just stop and rotate, come back through. Sure, yeah. Uh, simple focus action here. Ooh, I wonder if he's gonna sling it to Edriel. Nope, just gonna save it for defense. Okay, Edriel one forward. Clears the stress. And it's, it's looking to just light up Barris, right? Yeah, it was all coming in. I uh, get half points from the bomb. Uh, two, three dice shots at least. Uh, should be able to clean her out. So it just takes a focus here. Nothing fancy. Next we have a Soka. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Noka. <laughs> oh, oh, Noka. <laughs> well, ran into a friendly. Ran into a friendly. That was that a bump actually? I don't see dice coming out, so maybe it's clean. But uh, looks concerned about the bomb that is currently under her base so it's gonna boost does she have she's got chopper i thought she was stressed when she bumped into benthic now she can use her ability to boost while stressed uh, but if we see a second action go down Okay, so we see the boost. Still in range of the bomb. All right, I think he's... Yeah, uh, let me ask And him. grabs a focus. Uh, Will wants to go find out about uh, if she was stressed. Ib to Sam. Where are you going, buddy?
Uh, Will's over there talking it over. Thank you. Ibn Sam turns right over the rock. No concerns. Rolls, eyeball. Keeps the. S what happened? I think might have been out of the box. Oh, he's, oh, he's rolling for the, the ability to shed that stress, but didn't get it. Yes. Okay, what'd you tell him? I just asked him, did she clear her stress? And he said, no. Uh, but then he was like, well, uh, I can still boost and evade, right? And I was like, yep, Ahsoka and Chopper. Ahsoka and Chopper, what a combo, I love it. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, that's, there's a reason why I've seen this exact <laughs> build of hers twice now on stream. I love it. So it is down on a uh, force points or whatever, but We'll, uh... I think it does, it, 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 it Sam takes an uh, auto damage for flying over that rock, mm -hmm. but didn't get a second one because of the safer roll. Ah, okay. Um, are we on round five now? No, this is four. This is four. Got it. Shara, two turn, comes around and currently pointed at Obi-Wan. Contrail. Three. Good flanking shot here on Ibtisam, although Ibtisam relatively healthy. Locks. Obi-Wan. Let's see it. Two bank. Oh, we're losing our we're losing our dice game here. Not losing it, but it's uh, it's being shaken loose a little. Uh, yeah, let me let me see if I can spin it quick. I'll be right back. All right, um, Will is gonna go fix the dice cam, and Obi Wan boosts in. Maybe trying to get some shots on Gina. Gina won forward, has sights on Barris. Considering actions, Gina got a one straight lock and roll. According to chat. There's the uh, the calculate left over from K2SO during the system phase. Uh, you see him thinking over what's the move. Alex, visibly unhappy about the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> if you can imagine. Okay, we see a lock come down. Lock on Ahsoka. Uh, so we're trying to take Ahsoka out. And that's it. Anakin. Safe. Safe for now. Safe for now. A one hole Y wing. A one hole six point Y wing. Holding on to those three points, but you're not contributing. It's true. It's true. And this is the one scenario where you have to contribute. You can't just go shooting for objectives. Yeah, you can't just be out of the fight for a round. Mm -hmm. All right, so I would say 
Courtney in good position here. Um, the only real danger, I mean, yeah, really none of Al, um, none of Courtney's ships are really in a bad spot. Anakin boosting around. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Mm -hmm. To try to stay nice. relevant. Yep, I'm going to fix, fix the console fire fix as well. Fix the console fire. You have to, right? Yes, you have to. Uh, so, yeah, a lot of that is being, a lot of what Anakin is doing, in addition to his ability to clear stress, I can't talk enough, can't talk up enough that R4P, which allowed him to clear the stress on the three forward. And now uh, he is able to fix that uh, console fire. We see a patience deplete going down. Uh, for old one, he gets, can get back up to full force. So we see the first best of the day. Going to do three damage into Ibisam. Or at least the first batch of this game. And yeah, actually, uh, Flying Mighty, I don't think so. Shara goes to go like this, Anakin goes like this, and turns out shoots a Torp at her and takes her out. But Barris, though, Barris ain't gonna live. <clears throat> Sorry, I was pointing to the bomb. It should have uh, gone off. They're, 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 they're doing it now. Better late than never. Structural damage. Not great. And direct hit, which I believe kills Ahsoka. That's a tough break. Yeah, I mean, Alex really did not want to see that. I mean, like you said, visibly unhappy at the placement of the bomb. Um, and then takes the worst possible thing you mm -hmm. could take. So mm -hmm. Ahsoka, not even going to be able to get any shots off. Not even going to be able to soak up shots from the other ships. Now, they did lock Ahsoka, so that's like a wasted action, but still, like, rough. Hit crit. Edrio uh, changes the two crits. Edrio had it from uh, from those torps he was shooting at Barris actually. So he still got his focus token there. Uh, so what was this into Gina? Gina's I believe two. so. It must have been. Yeah. yeah it didn't even bother time. rolling dice on the two crits. Uh, three hits coming in here. Into two evades. So that's the force point. Oh, structural damage. And goodbye, Barris. Oh, yeah. I mean, we saw it coming, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, remember what I said last game? Turn four is really the deciding turn. Turn four is the deciding turn. It seems if it's to not, be. If it's not the, yeah, if it's not the end of turn three. Well, I guess it's always the end. I guess that's not really what I mean. But yes, yeah, turn four is normally the, the tipping point where you can kind of confirm your win, you know? Yeah. Yeah, probably a pretty clear leader at that point. Okay, so Courtney up 11 to 5. Um, we have a limping Anakin. <clears throat> Is this true that Republic has not won on stream today? The First Order beat them. Um, the Rebels could beat them here. We suspect they will. Uh, what was the other one? Yeah, because the Hawk lost. Uh, Paul beat Republic, I believe. The Torrents. Yeah. <laughs> Rough. <laughs> so, uh, 
a good faction. A good faction. But can they pull off the wins? Hmm. Well, like I said, we have the top tables in front of us. Um, I see Empire vs. First Order over there on the, one of the top tables. There we go. I see uh, Nathan Idy flying some Republic. Yeah, we got Republic on Republic, Table 1. Uh, Rebels? Rebels on Republic, Table 2. And uh, Rebels on... Re Republic again. Okay. The arcs really threw me off there first. <laughs> There's a lot of arcs on that table, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I see the Aether sprites now. And then we do see some more Rebels, some more First Order, a couple other Empire as well. So a good variety, good variety. Here. I think the... As much as... Uh, we would like to say they might be the easy faction Republic, right, with all their passive modifications. Okay. I do think they might be one of the higher skill yeah. based factions, though. Especially, like, like these Adas, right? Uh, any of the four health CLT. If you're not lining yeah. up those bullseyes, if you're not arced dodging shots, uh, you you're, can be very vulnerable. Yeah, you still have to fly them. And there's a lot of... Um, what do I want to say? Like a lot of decision making. And that can be hard because if you um, don't end up in a good position, then your ships are relatively vulnerable. You know, especially if you are flying V wings, Aether sprites, Adas are all pretty low health ships. Yeah. Whereas Rebels, traditional, a little bit chunkier, can uh, have uh, less, you know, uh, high agility, low health ships. We still see plenty of A-wings flying around. Shower is a, an amazing buy for three points. Uh, and this one, though, I don't think she's really... Well, she does have concussion missiles. We haven't seen that actually work out for her. She did kind of joust Obi-Wan in Contrail and kind of has been just flying around trying to survive ever since. Yeah. So I've been flying Sabine in the A-Wing a lot. Um, wow. Just has She's a got quite a loadout. It's great. It's so much fun. But her initiative <laughs> is hurts because uh, it's hard for her to, like, get the target lock and, like, get people in arc. Especially if you're flying against Republic, they could just, like arc dodge you sure um and i think you know maybe shara here with the concussion missiles like kind of coming into a similar problem so it is rounded up that's right because he got two points i think they changed that at some point maybe oh i think in regular rules it's rounded down or something i don't know but either way shara's uh Given up two points already. And then, uh, what is the other one? Edrio gave up two points. So it is only calculating five? Is there um, something I'm missing? No, okay. So when it's half points, you round down. When it's full points, you round up. Yeah, when an enemy ship is destroyed, round up. Oh. When it's half points, you round, round down. Round down. So that way, if you do round down the first time, round up the second time, mm -hmm. you end up with the total uh, number of points. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Well, if it would help if I had reading comprehension. Uh, <laughs> or was just looking at the right spot. So it is rounded down, yeah. So, And that's really what... Um, gives value to like these cheap three point ships yeah is that you could lose so much health uh i'm thinking of like a region naboo handmaiden sure like that's a seven health ship who gets free evades and you only score one point for doing six damage to it yeah yeah good luck <laughs> in this scenario at least well i can read i just wasn't reading the right place OK. 
Okay, wow, that's hard one bear roll, trying to get back into the fight. Yeah, I um, I thought maybe Shara would kind of go for Anakin, but it wasn't really, she wasn't really going to get a good shot in there, I, so this sort of makes think, some sense. I feel like that could arc dodge uh, Anakin. Remember, she's only at one health. She ain't trying to fight. Mm. There are trade shots anyways, right? Yeah, fair point. Oh my gosh. There is a bunch of literal orcs. There's hair. There's orcs in the hall? I don't know if you can spot them. I do. I see. It's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> they had some sort of war chant they were doing. It's very distracting. All right. Here's Obi Wan. One turn. Uh, we're at uh, four of six rounds today. Uh, the players with five wins will progress to tomorrow's graduated cut. You know, we haven't talked about the beautiful objective token in the center of the board. Brought to you by Curveball Creative. That's right. They have a coupon go code going right now. Use ACON22 for 20% off. The Curlpaw Creatives, you can get uh, the new objective tokens. You get the round counter uh, from the Battle of Yavin. Beautiful looking and so thematic. So check them out. Use that coupon code. It's good all weekend. Uh, you can get the best templates, in my opinion, uh, for X-Wing. And Dion gave those objective markers to every participant here at Adepticon. Uh, so we see that second Afterburner's boost from Anakin. Ooh. Anakin is going to get a clean range one shot into Shara. Yeah, Shara was like, no way he's going to be able to catch me. It's what you said earlier about the yeah, Y-Wings being surprising. Yeah, like, you called you know it. that I had a hard three boost? You didn't think so. Okay, uh, doesn't get anything on the target lock. Two hits here going into Shara. Shara gets three dice, unmodified, blank, blank, eyeball. Shara immediately removed from the board. And she's gone. That's a dead A-wing. And puts, uh, puts Alex further, or closer, I should say, to Courtney's score. Bye bye, Shara. Uh, veteran instincts. As a as a note, we're going to re-random the last two scenarios. And then in the first four rounds tomorrow, we'll play all time of the rounds. Called time in the round. Short round this time. It was short. Yeah, it just ended. Hmm. Well, I mean, like not just ended, but. The time just ended. The 72. the 72. We just hit that 72, and it's already over. Um, okay, lots of shots can still be had here. Can we see a comeback? So what do you have to do here to get the, to get the win? Who is eligible to be killed? You're only going to get two points from two tubes. I okay. think you have to fully kill Ispasan? Yeah, because it to Sam hasn't been halved yet, right? No, they have nine health and only four remaining, so is already halved. You have to kill both of them somehow. Oh. Or outright kill Gina. No, there's a fist bump there. That's gonna Wait. be Oh I oh. see oh. ships being pointed at. Uh, rear arc attack then. All right, one damage on Contrail. And... And now I definitely there's, see there's it. The <laughs> there's the handshake. Congratulations, Courtney Moore pulls off the victory, 11 points to seven over Alex Morgensen. Thank you to ISO, Danko, Baffle, Trojan, Prophet, Shadow, 
Tycho, Spice, Raider, Lancer, Fallen, and Row 6, our Grand Admiral patrons, and all of our Gold Squadron patrons and community members. Thank you so much for your support. Gold Squadron out.